growing list of U.S. cities telling its youth, pull those pants up. Wanted City Council member is tired of seeing boxers, thongs, and whatever else may hang out when pants hang too low. Baggy pants have been a mainstay in what some call the hip-hop generation. So why now is the issue being addressed? And what is the plan to combat it? Well, with us this morning is Wilmington Councilman Michael Brown and Drew Nash Fennell, of the uh, direct, uh, Executive Director of the Delaware ACLU. Good morning to have you both. Good Thank morning. You. All Thank right, you. nice to have you. Um, Councilman, let's start with you. Baggy pants really have been around for, let's say, at least a decade. So why address the issue now? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's, in a, it's in a place in my life and, and in other people's lives now that, you know, we complain about a lot of things that people are doing in, at our kitchen tables. And, and, and we, we complain up at, 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 uh, at rugby clubs and every place else. And nobody's really uh, trying to come outside to do anything to try to make it better. Now, this is, this is not a, uh, a, a bill about saggy pants. This is a bill about indecent exposure. And, and so we need, to walk, we need to focus on the, the legislation itself about indecent exposure and take the focus off baggy pants. You know, and, and so that's where I'm at with this today. Well, give us an idea as to exactly what this ordinance is, though. Will a person get a fine, maybe even jail time for having baggy pants? No. The, 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 uh, the person... Uh, will be uh, given up to $250 fine. Okay. Uh, and it's up to the court how the court wants to proceed with that. All right, let me, let me just get Ms. Fennell in on the conversation here. Give me an idea as what the ACLU, what did you folks think when you heard all of this? You know, these are the kinds of conversations that probably ought to stay at the breakfast table. You know, government should not be in the business of regulating a dress code. And I know Councilman Brown um, feels that this is indecent exposure, but all the pictures we just saw in that in that clip were of people whose bodies were covered. You know, if those young men take those pants off and walk around in their boxers, uh, that's not indecent exposure. And I don't think we really want government in the business of enforcing a dress code. So if this law is passed, what would your organization do? Well, it depends on who approaches us and how it's enforced and how it's used. Um, but we believe that the, the, um, the law as it stands now is intrusive uh, and probably violates people's ability to express themselves in a lawful manner. Now, may, may I say something? Go, go ahead. May, may, because, again, I, I, I don't want people to focus on saggy pants. I want people to focus on uh, uh, the indecent exposure. I want people to know, and, 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 and Ms. Drew, she's absolutely right. I don't want to infringe oh, on okay. anybody's... Uh, 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 okay. rights. Okay. I don't want to infringe on anybody's rights, but I don't want anybody infringing on my rights as well. I have the, I have the responsibility okay. as a husband, so we'll as get, a, we'll as a father, next. as a grandfather, okay. and when I'm out in the public to make sure that my family does not have to necessarily be, I, am I, should I lock myself behind closed doors because of the way these folks are acting in terms of the way they're dressing? I'm not telling them how to dress. I'm just saying cover up. If you got on Councilman baggy Brown, pants. can I interrupt here for a second? Because some people actually would call this uh, a bit of racial profiling. That's because many of the offenders are young black men. That's not true. White, as well as Hispanics, uh, as well as Koreans. You we know, are going to thumb scene to get uh, wear, wear baggy pants. All I'm saying to, uh, to the folks, cover up. We wear long shirts, you can put anything else on, but cover up. I don't want to have to sit in a restaurant or, or, or sit in the park with my granddaughters but, and you know, watch these somebody. Are these are private choices. They're lawful choices. They may, they may offend Councilman Brown's sensibilities, but they're not illegal. And we really don't want to have police having an opportunity to encounter young people and just decide on the basis of what they're wearing whether or not they want to stop them. We want our police to be focused on criminal behavior, right. so do not I. on the dress code. So and so do I. So I don't want police, I don't want people to think that the police is going to use this as a tool to stop and frisk. It's just that the police will have, uh, will, will give a citation and the courts will decide what type of punishment that individual will be getting. But Ms. But Finnell, you, are, you see this as a waste of a police time, don't you? Well, I do, and I do think it also gives police an opportunity to stop young people who are not otherwise engaged in any kind of illegal behavior based entirely on their appearance and not on any criminality. Well, City Councilman Michael Brown and Drew Nash Fennell of the Delaware ACLU, thank you so much for joining us uh, for, for the conversation. I know there's a lot of dialogue going on about this. We'll see where this where this uh, takes us. And we we'll go to committee next month. follow this for our viewers. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, Brian